Hello everyone, this is Cece's Crafty Life, and today I'm going to be making some tomato sauce from scratch. Uh, if you like this, hit like. If you want to know every time I upload something, hit that bell for notifications. Comment and subscribe. Today we're going to be making some homemade tomato paste. You need a quart can of tomato juice. The small ones is a teaspoon of each ground paprika, charanto leaves, parsley, basil, red pepper. Now you can add more red pepper if you like it spicy. And some uh, garlic powder is uh, two tablespoons of garlic powder. And I put it all in this bowl. And then you're gonna need some cornstarch at two tables. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in a saucepan. I'm using a, about a medium saucepan. And I'm gonna let this boil for a little while. I'm gonna start it off on high. And when it starts to boil, I will turn it down. Now before this boils, I'm gonna put all my spices in here because I want these spices to cook in with it. And I'm going to stir it up in there. Okay, this is time to turn it down. I really don't want it to start boiling, so I'm going to turn it to five. And occasionally, I come in here and check it and stir it. As you see, it's beginning to bubble up. I'm going to cut it back to four. Because I don't want these bubbles in it, I will have to to figure out a way to get those out. Spoon them out. Okay, I cut it down to three because to me it was still bubbling. I just want it to simmer and get all that flavor of the uh, herbs and spices that I put in here. Well, while this is simmering, I took I put some water in my starch and stirred it up. And whenever um. This gets the way that I want it. I will add that to it and it'll make it. Okay, I let it simmer for about 30 minutes and all the seasonings has cooked into it. So now I'm gonna be putting in my starch to make it thicker. And I don't pour it all in at one time. Also turn the heat off. See how thick it's getting. Now I may have to add some more starch, but I'm gonna let it set for a while. If it needs more, then I'll put some more in it. But I'm just gonna let it set on this warm burner. Okay, I've let it simmer for about 30 minutes and all the seasonings has cooked into it. So now I'm going to be putting in my starch to make it thicker. And I don't pour it all in at one time. Also turn the heat off. See how thick it's getting. Now I may have to add some more starch, but I'm going to let it set for a while. If it needs more, then I'll put some more in it. And I'm just gonna let it set on this warm burner. Now I added about four heaping tablespoons of more cornstarch, and this is the sauce. And see how, how that is. Now if you want paste, you need to put more of the cornstarch in it. 